right. They don't deserve it. That's I shouldn't be saying that. <laughs> we'll like get a, ours soon. Yeah. Just hang on there. Exactly what I was going to say. You know, that's the same thing we have to deal with all the time. So right. why not spread it around spread a little around bit? Spread it soon enough. Yeah. A bad enough day today here. Honestly, it was just kind of a two on a one to ten scale. Sunshine. It was five to ten degrees colder than normal. Only the geese said, "We like this weather." And I can't tell if these guys caught any fish or not, but I hope they did. Michael Bowman was up at Silver Lake. Look at how beautiful our mountains are. We live in one of the most beautiful places in the entire world. And just up the canyon, you could walk up or, or drive up and then walk across this nice little walkway. And, uh, and it's right in the middle of winter, all of a sudden, just a few miles up the canyon. All right, we have a couple of weather systems coming in. None of them are going to be direct hits. Although this one right here appears to have the greatest potential to bring a little bit of snow to the mountains. In fact, as these little disturbances come in from the northwest, we will see four to eight Sunday afternoon and Tuesday afternoon in the mountains. That's good news. They're also making snow because it's cold enough to make snow up there in them thar hills. Vernal is 29, 35 and 35 in Cedar City. Clouds are still banking up against the mountains, so we will not be as cold along the Wasatch Front, but eastern basins, southern San Pete, Severe Valleys, teens and 20s again tonight. Facts, look at some of these temperatures. Cedar City was 17 last night. Ephraim was 17 last night. So where there were not wonderful, where it was 32, we had cloudy skies all night long, all night long. It never warmed up. Now Montpelier, 36. Steve Coons reporting in. Manti, 41 and 19. Fifty-eight in St. George, not a very warm day. Now you can see the flow coming in from the northwest, and you can see these clouds bank, and that's why today we didn't see a lot of sunshine. Now we're getting a little break between this weather system and the one that went through, so it may be a little bit colder tonight than it was last. Year. But when we look at these forecast computer models, now take a look at this with me. Watch, here comes this little disturbance right here. That's going to increase the chance for showers in the afternoon on Sunday, well, by 10 p.m., look at this, pretty good chance for some showers, snow. Watch as that moves away, and the next weather front right there approaches 10 p.m. So Monday night, again, a precipitation, some snow in the mountains, and uh, warm enough at that point for some rain showers in the valleys. Here's the forecast for eastern Utah. Again, notice that the mountain areas, the north side, uh, getting some snow, the Uintas, and by the way, very windy in Rock Springs tomorrow. The high only 33, so the wind chills in the 20s and teens. 66 in Mesquite, 59 St. George, and again, teens in the valleys of southern Utah, St. George. You're warming up to the mid-60s over the next several days. Northern Utah, let's put these maps into motion. Watch, because by noon tomorrow, we'll have a chance for a few showers. This is noontime. Now watch, I'm going to put these maps into motion again. Later in the afternoon, look at how we fill in a little bit. So there will be a chance for some rain and snow showers in Logan and along the Wasatch Front. About a 30% chance late in the afternoon tomorrow. Pretty good, pretty good in the morning. Not too bad in the morning, but by afternoon, as you can see, there will be a slight chance for a shower. So I put a 30% chance tomorrow. I put a 40% chance mainly morning Monday. And then again, Monday night, Tuesday morning, about a 40% chance. Valleys don't see a lot in these storms, but the mountains, because it's a northerly flow, four to eight inches between Sunday and Tuesday. Okay. And they're making snow. 